How you going? Whiskey. And knives. Two of my favourite topics. So today I'm going to be uh, tasting this for the first time. This is a Glen Levitt. It's a 15 year old bottle. It was gifted to me by a bloke called Murray. I took his son out for a hunt. This is what I got. I love single malt whiskies. So this is actually aged in uh, French barrels, apparently. I better put my glasses on, I'm not going to better just screw that off, am I? Just way too flash for that. If you drink whiskey, I mean, there's all different uh, things that people say you're supposed to do or not do. Add water, add ice, just do whatever you like. Personally, I like to drink the good stuff straight. Got two glasses here, one for me and one for you. Got a chair for you here too. There you go. <laughs> Pretty good if we could, wouldn't it? I'll take the uh, slightly bigger glass. I'll give you the wee one. If you don't drink it, then I'll have to. Right. I haven't drunk this one before because I just simply haven't been able to afford it. This is quite an expensive one. Smells bloody good. You need to have three or four smells before you decide what you're gonna say about it or judge it. Get your nose used to it. Don't hold it too close either. I'm getting a, a cinnamon taste, a light fruity taste. I'm dying to drink it, but it's quite it. An aroma, it's almost like a perfume. It smells a bit like cognac actually. I don't know if it's supposed to, but that's what I can smell. It smells bloody good. We're starting to uh, salivate a bit. I don't know if it's supposed to do that to you, but it's doing it to me. As you turn it around the glass, I don't know if you can see that, there's kind of an oily, it's like paint dripping off a wall. It's a sign of a good whiskey. A good whiskey will do that. Anyway, uh, gentlemen, start your livers. That's a good drop. Other than that beautiful warm feeling as it goes down and introduces itself to your guts, it's got a really nice taste. I can taste in it almost a chocolatey type taste, almost citrusy but sweet, like a sweet orange. And the aftertaste, it doesn't last that long like some whiskies do. That's good. We'll drink a few more shots and then we'll decide on uh, whether it's a keeper, but I can, I'd say right now it's definitely a keeper. It's not a really overly expensive whiskey like some. Uh, a little bit out of my league, but if you get it as a gift, never look a gift horse in the mouth. So that's my uh, Glen Levitt 15 year old review. I made this bit of smoked kawai. And I like to eat stuff that's smoked when I'm drinking whiskey. I don't know why the tastes go together, but they just do. I like to use whiskey when I'm putting stuff together in food sometimes. Somehow the whiskey and the car wire just goes together when it's smoked like that. I want to talk about knives anyway. Right now, we're getting a custom made knife made for us, the Clay Tool Stories Hybrid Knife, which is for pig hunters mostly, but anybody could use one. So traditionally, uh, the stick knife in New Zealand, the most common one is the sword. It's a bloody good knife. These guys make cracker knives. I've been using that for about eight years. Awesome. Trouble is though, if you want to gut a pig with it, well, it's a wee bit too tapering that, and sometimes that'll pick up the membrane of the guts, and then you've got shit everywhere. Also, for your knife when you're in the field, you want to be cutting out the throat and cutting out the bum hole. So I got this guy Simon to design this knife for us. That was the first one. Well actually that's sort of what he calls a Bushman's Pal. Good enough to stick a pig. 
I mean, there's nothing wrong with a normal cheap boning knife for sticking a pig and carrying on your hip. Some guys, it's fine, but this is something a little bit more classy. It's got a mat high handle. I can't tell you the name of the steel, but it's bloody good because this thing holds its edge really, really well. Three mil steel. I said, mate, that's too thick. When you're cutting around the arsehole and pelvic and stuff, you want something with a slight bend in it. So the new prototype is this one here, and it's gone to 2.2 mil steel. Uh, what else? Well, the handle's mat high as well. It's a nice grip. Don't forget to have one of these on the end of your knife so you can whip it out of your sheath quickly after you've got the pig contained. So this is where we are so far with the prototype. Yesterday a young fellow I took out from Bermuda, young Miles, he bow shot his first goat and he had to finish it off. Cut it straight, piece of piss straight through like hot knife through butter. It's a good stick knife, I've done three or four pigs with it and you can also use it when you get home for boning out if you want to. But it's designed for in the field. We still haven't got it right yet, there's still a few wee things to fix up. We're trying to get the sheath right, that was the first design, but that got caught with a belt. That was the, uh, actually that was the first design, but it just was a bit loose on the belt. So we're still working on that, and refining it. We'll have the Clay Tool Stories hybrid knife out soon for those that are collecting knives or like something a bit special. It'll be bloody expensive because it's handmade and he puts a lot of work into them, but just something for a bit of fun. Personally, I'd just be using an old boning knife for going pig hunting if you can't afford something, you know, flash like this, but it will be something we're making for you guys. Right, that's whiskey, and that's knives. We'll have a little bit more of this. I've got some stuff to open up here. If you're not going to drink your whiskey, then I'm going to drink it, okay? Tastes different in a different glass. Probably because I just stuck some car wine in my mouth. Thank you, Bruce Cocker. I've got a funny feeling you might already be in the Good Bastards Club. If you're not, you will be now. Thanks, mate. Don't know what's in here, but we'll crack her open. G'day, Clay. I have this landing pad surplus to my requirements, and I know you have a Mavic drone, as I do as well. And I find 90% of the time the landing area for my drone is a bit overgrown and the pad is brilliant for this purpose. Hopefully you find it useful sometime in some places. I wish I could afford more. But like yourself, YouTube isn't exactly the best way to make a good income unless you are like several other YouTubers. I don't know what he means by that. I appreciate you're not on Patreon. I'm not yet, mate, but it's getting bloody close. But if you did, I'd understand because... Believe you, me, if my channel could, I would. I see you don't even AdSense. Actually, I do AdSense, mate, but YouTube won't put up with me because they don't have guns, they don't have killing, which is obviously hunting, and they don't have swearing, which has got me totally fucked. So they just say, Clay, we don't want you. And it puts me right to the bottom of the heap. That answers that question. Um, I see you don't have AdSense, but maybe that's something worth considering. Yeah, I had it, mate, but they got rid of me. Uh, I have been for several years and maybe make $400 on a good year. Okay, it goes into his personal finances and stuff, I won't go into that. But hey, it's better than a kick in the teeth and get paid for a tank of gas for a Suzuki. AdSense costs you nothing and it's easy to set up for your channel. Blah, blah. Hey man, I, Bruce, I appreciate that, mate, but yeah, I did set it up, but it went for a while, but then they found out that uh, I was a filthy pig hunter and... Advertisers just don't want to advertise with somebody like me. And I understand that too. So, this is the landing pad for the uh, the Maverick. This is pretty flash, bro. We've got to get that before it goes in the fire. I shouldn't have taken my glasses off because I can't see anything without them, but... Uh, pretty flash, all right. Smells nice. Oh, wicked. Check it out. <laughs> oh, wicked. Whoa! Seriously? That's awesome, dude! <laughs> this gonna look so cool. What about the scrub? And I don't know where I'm landing. I'm about to find the H. And also, it's gonna stop all the dust going back up into my drone. I like the way it uh, folds up. How do you do that? Like that. 
sweet as bro, sweet as bro. Everywhere you go, as sweet as bro, singing sweet as bro, sweet as bro. Everywhere you go, as sweet as. You know, I'm not going to get that back in the bloody packet the way it came out. It's just not going to happen, man. Put that down there and mutter that out for a couple more whiskies. Oh, I got these little pegs, I see. So you you peg it down with these things here. Fantastic. Hey, bro. Thank you very, very much. Right. This came from Game Gear today. Actually, I'll open that last. Who's it from? Sender. Sender. Uh, Nigel Wilson. Thank you, Nigel. Another good bastard. G'day, Clay. Having a clear out. Hopefully you can put these items to good use. Big thumbs up to you and your outlook on life. Nigel. Cheers, bro. This is a box full of a shitload of stuff, man. What have we got? Gloves. Awesome. UBS cable. Caps. More gloves. Jeez, bro, you had to clear it in half, all right. What's this? Oh, it's a balaclava, is it? I don't know what it is. Somebody enlighten me, please. I don't know what that is. Looks cool, but I don't know what it is. Does it go around your mouth? Like that. Like that. It's like I'm a uh, Irish mafia. Good in the fucking car. Sorry, bad joke. I don't know what these things are, but thank you. I don't know, man. Enlighten me, bro. I'm sure when I find out what it is, I'll use it and I'll be grateful for it. I am grateful for it, but I just don't know what it is. Looks similar. It's quite warm around the neck. Well, I know what this is. This is a serious balaclava. Great for winter. That's cool. Jesus, plenty of warm stuff in here. More gloves. Wicked. These will be handy for the young guys I take out in the morning. Just go. They got nothing, man. And more gloves. Bro. Outstanding. Oh, mate. This is all new stuff. It's got bloody labels on it. What a good bastard. What a good bastard. And more gloves. Nice gloves. Unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable. Nigel. What's this, bro? Oh, this is a balaclava. This is good for like going in your, during duck shooting, camo, or if you're a bow hunter. Too much, bro. Check out this. Hey, mate, you can stick a GoPro on this. Awesome. I always, always wanted one of these, eh? Fucking epic. Oh, mate. And it's a wee torch. I can give this to one of the kids that goes out because most of them haven't got stuff like that. That'll probably get used tomorrow in the scrub. Bro, there's so much stuff here. USB sockets. Powered. Oh, too much, bro. Too much, bro. What's this? These are all the fittings for the GoPro? You serious, man? Sportsman's, a sportsman's mount. It's called Sportman Mount Set. So, absolutely perfect for what we do in the scrub, trying to film stuff. Mate, this is a fantastic gift pack. This is fantastic. What's in here? I don't know what's in here. It's like a, a brown. Is it a, is it a fly? It doesn't say. It's got nothing on it. No, it's a whole lot of cordage. What is it? A fucking parachute or something? Check it out. A whole lot of cordage. That's a fly, isn't it? Yeah, bro. No, a mosquito net. A meat safe. That's a meat safe, that's some hanging meat, I reckon. 
I don't know. It's got nothing written on the outside. It's got a it's got a back on it, and it's got a side that's a mesh. It almost looks like a hammock. But will that hold your weight? Be awesome if it was a hammock. I reckon it is. Tell me what you think it is. I'll research that, but I reckon it's a hammock. If it is, bloody awesome, man, because I haven't got a hammock. My daughter's got one, I bought her one, but I don't have one. That is wicked, man. All this stuff. I'm kind of a bit overwhelmed. I'm gonna have to have a drink. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, mate. Cap light, goes on your cap, clips in the front, it's a lamp. Bro, there's so much, oh, you're shitting me. You're shitting me. Check this out, guys. It's a game camera. Always wanted one of these. Bloody brilliant. Well, here comes Murray on the tractor. It's a game camera, that's phenomenal. Mate. A nice wee knife. Check that out. It's a beauty too, look at it. It's a cracker, look at it. Fucking ripper. Happy days. This is too much, bro. Too much, man. Oh man, this is gonna make some young fella happy. Make some old, you're making some old fella happy right now. What's this? Oh, dude, check this out. This is a phenomenal gift pack. I think this is Redline the Fun Meter. Check it out. Columbia. It's made in Germany. That'll be bloody good steel. Sharp as. Sharp as, bro. Wicked. That is a good knife. That's a good knife. Unbelievable. You've redlined the uh, good bastard meter this time, bro. What's that? It's in uh, Korean. I think it's Japanese. I have to get my girlfriend to read it. I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing maybe a knife sharpener. Can anybody tell me? I think it's a knife sharpener. I think that's what it is. Don't know what's in this little box. Any ideas? What do you reckon's in that? Seriously, what's in that? Fuck if I know. What's in there? What do you reckon's gonna be in that? Oh, mate! That there's a little gas burner. That goes on your gas bottle. And that's so you can boil your billy. And it's got one of those wee ignite buttons at the top there. You push that and a spark goes. Too much, bro. They aren't cheap either. They're bloody good. Wicked. There's so much stuff in here. What's this? Gators? Is that gators? This too, it's a set of gators. Check those out. My daughter can wear those. She'll love to wear those. Sweet as bro. Sweet. Oh mate, look at this. Having a throw out bro, this stuff's all bloody new. Check it out. That's a cracker torch. Serious beam on it too. Mate. Too much, mate. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I'll, I'll work it out. What do you reckon? Comment. I'm holding something, I reckon. What's in these little boxes? What do you reckon's in that? Hey, that's handy. That gets, it's a wee key ring with a light on it. So, it's not going though. Hold on, there's another one. Maybe you've got to put a battery in it. I don't know. Might need a battery. Probably needs a battery or I'll work it out. But that's what it is. It's a key ring with a wee light on it. Or maybe it's going in the daytime, I just can't see it. It's too bright. Sweet as. That's so you can plug into your phone. Oh, I haven't got any of these headphones. I should have because I'm a musician, but I just don't have any. That's uh, wicked. And there's some pink ones for my girlfriend or my daughter. What's this? What's this? Mate, is this a fishing net? No, it's not a fishing net. What is it? Bro, that's a... Uh, that's a... That's... I don't know what that is. That is a fishing net, is it? 
got lead weight on it. Can someone tell me? Because I've never seen this before. Somebody's going to know what that is. I don't know what that is. Tell me what it is and what you use it for so I can use it. I'll make a video of using it once you tell me. I reckon it's for fishing, but I don't know because it's got lead weights on. But I don't know. It's got this anti 1080 stickers. And what's in this? You put that onto your battery and you got yourself a wee torch. I've got a small, this would be good for floundering actually. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Well, this is too much, bro. But thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. That is a massive gift pack. Oh, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I am. I'm a little bit. It's, it's not what I'm. It's it's a lot. Yeah. Time for me to give something back now. These guys, Game Gear, they're the only product that I actually endorse. And I only endorse a couple of products. One's their Revolution Rip Collars, which are bloody good. And the other is their Tusker Jacket. But they've got some really good stuff. And I only endorse it because it's good stuff. But one thing they do is they sponsor the Good Bastards Club. They help me to get young guys out in the scrub. So every time someone buys a Game Gear jacket off my link, they put 50 bucks into the Good Bastards Club, which pays for kids' lunches, fuel, road user miles, basic maintenance and stuff. I have financially been going a little bit backwards, but that's going to change. And I'll tell you why. Jamie Drake, I call him Big Jamie because he's fucking big, he's like seven foot tall. He talked to his tutor the other day, who just happened to be the president of Rotary Club here in Richmond. And she's organised a meeting with seven other presidents of Rotary Clubs around the country. And uh, they're all coming together in Nelson. I'm meeting them in September, I think the 12th. And they're going to help me try to get a, a vehicle that can take more than just three kids out. Because in my Toyota Hilux, I need an adult generally to come with us to help us out. And I can only take three kids. And I'm leaving fellas behind. So, Jamie, you're a good bastard, mate. An 18 year old young man, just talking to somebody, trying to help me out because he knew that I was struggling a little bit with um, paying for everything. So he talked to somebody and he made something happen. Or maybe it doesn't happen, I don't mind either way, but his intentions were to help me out. So I'm helping him out. I talked to me mate Joel at Game Gear. And Joel, has sent this for Jamie. Now, Jamie needed a an extra large in size 6, which they don't make. But he reckons he'll squeeze into this 5, which is as big as a fucking tent. Look at the size of that, sucker. That's for you, Jamie. You bloody earned it, mate. And I'll put the link below if you want to buy one of these. Every time you do, these guys put 50 bucks into the Good Bastards Club. This is a brilliant jacket. It's got a thing at the back so the blood doesn't go down your ass when you're carrying your animal out of the scrub. It's waterproof. It's got a hood. Unlike a lot of other ones, you've got this thing that gets the water out of your face and out of your hair. Keeps your, your nuts and your ass dry when you're in the scrub. You've got all these pockets. And you've got this really cool pocket up here for your electrical stuff. Oh, I love this one. You can put your cell phone in there. It's got a waterproof pocket. See that? That's bloody waterproof. Stick your phone in there and it's sweet as bro. That's for you, Jamie. Oh, and we have a Revolution collar. A small one. I was hoping I was going to get two, because is there another one there? No, I asked him to get me two, because I've got two little dogs that need them, but uh, he sent us one anyway. That's all right. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Thank you, Joel. Awesome. So this is actually a small one for Choppy. But I've also got another small little Walla Terrier dog I'm borrowing right now. I'll go and grab her and we'll see what it looks like on her. Right, I've just stuck the TT15 Garmin collar on there. The cool thing about these things is, oh there, this is Tinks by the way. Tinks is from Wade Walla, a Walla Terrier. Off the table, mate. So, uh, 
These are bloody clever, these uh, rip collars. What they do is they basically, get out of the way mate, they look after you. Yeah, the brains air unit, as uh, Joel calls it, which is that bit there. That goes into the, uh, out of the way mate, it goes into there like so. So you've got protection on that. And then the part which traditionally breaks on these collars is this bit round here. Gets disconnected, like it gets twisted, so that gets protected as well. So what you do is, it's a clever bloody system actually, the way they, when I first looked at it I thought that's a bit bloody weird because it's got a big hole in it. But when you see it on the dog, it's actually quite good. So let's see what this collar's like on you, eh? I always have my aerial on the left hand side, so if I'm walking them it's not brushing against my legs. This Velcro idea is really clever. That goes like that. This piece here in the top, you can see it just angled up a little bit. Do that up. And what you do is, you poke it in there and out of the way, don't you? And there we have it. Protection. Protect the dog's vital carotid arteries, which run up there. If they get a tusk in them, you're dead, aren't you? And uh, that protects the dog from getting a tusk, but also protects the unit from getting smashed by the boar's tusks. And the aerial sticks up the top like that. Good dog, hey? Tomorrow we're taking this dog out for a hunt. This is Tinks. She's like a wee rope dog, although she's fine a pig by herself. She's staying with me for about six to eight weeks till the end of the forestry season, then she's going back to Wade. She's a crack wee dog. Anyway, uh, that wraps up this little vlog. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Hope life's treating you well. Be good. If you can't be good, you know, what should they do, eh? Be careful! That's right. Take it easy. See you later. Oh yeah, one more thing before I go. I forgot to mention. You pig hunters that hunt like I do, like go out in the morning and then go, ah, stuff it, I'm going to hunt all day till dark. Do the 12 to 15 hours long hunt. Get some of those. Canine Octane Plus. Just look it up on the internet, you'll find it. Bloody awesome. You give your dog one the night before you go for a hunt, first thing in the morning, middle of the day or smoko, lunchtime, and through the day, they go like magic on the stuff. It's just like, gives them a real boost. It's got all the good stuff in it. Helps the uh, body process stuff better and keeps them going. Our old Choppy gets a bit tired on the hill and sometimes he uh, hits the wall. I'm almost tempted to take one myself, but I think it's just for dogs. So give that a crack. I'm using it and I love it. I'm not getting paid anything to say this. I'm just telling you to help you out with your dogs because it works for me and it'll work for you too. The other thing is if you want to get one of those collars, hit the link below in the description box. If you want to get yourself one of these awesome Tusker jackets, also hit that link. You'll get it wholesale straight from the, uh, the manufacturer, which is Game Gear. That's it. Be good. You can't be good. Be careful. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Good Bastards Club. <laughs>